everybody, Siki here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video, and it is like super duper exciting, like I'm all the way stoked, per the huge. But this video is all about ColourPop. Well, I'm gonna talk about a couple of things real, real quick before we get into it. Then we're gonna get to the meat and potatoes, you know, like the nitty gritty, you know, what you came here for. But first, I wanna tell you guys that I heard about this launch on ColourPop Snapchat, right? The first day I saw it on ColourPop Snapchat, I was like, what a whole collection of pressed eyeshadows and then the very next day I got them in the mail so I was like oh my gosh like I am super excited I gotta try these babies out I gotta see how they work I gotta do a first impression like I was all the way excited okay so if you guys follow me on snapchat you totally saw that excitement because I did a look on this eye and then I tested out a little look on this eye and I actually went outside like that because I totally had an errand to run and y'all saw it all on snap. But anyway, this is considered their biggest launch ever. This is their first time ever releasing a collection of pressed eyeshadows. Now, the first time they came out with pressed eyeshadows, they look like this. And this is a collaboration with Amanda Steele, and they came out with four of them, okay? And then this is what the packaging looks like, and then it has a little sleeve to it. So this is the packaging. And then, along with these pressed eyeshadows, which I believe there are like 25 of them, they also came out with two palettes, and then one is called high maintenance and then one is called low key. I am gonna show you swatches of all 25 of these and I'm gonna show you me applying these on my eyes, okay? Because like I said, I can show you better than I can tell you. And I know you wanna see how they perform. You don't just wanna see swatches. But before we get down to the meat and potatoes, the nitty gritty, you know, what you came here for, I do wanna talk about a couple of YouTube collaborations because they are my friends and I want to make sure that I like showcase their products because they are limited edition. And I haven't had a chance to really like do a full blown YouTube video about them. I've talked about it on Instagram, but I wanted to talk about it on here just in case you didn't know, all right? So we have Jackie Ina, and then we have Coffee Break with Danny. But this is LeBron's by Jackie Ina. And this is a highlighter, and it came out with the whole collection. It is in collaboration with Artist Couture. Couture, I just wanna say it like that. And there you go. That is her highlighter. I don't even know if my lighting is doing it justice, but there you go. And these are the four eyeshadows from Itzy that Coffee Break with Danny did the collaboration on. Now off the top of my head, I remember that some of the names are stronger, wiser, better. It totally makes me think of that Marvin Sapp song, Never Would've Made It, I'm Stronger, Wiser. Y'all know that? Anyway. On with ColourPop. So this right here is the one I'm gonna use today in my crease. This is called Top Notch, you guys. And I think the reason I was so drawn to it is because it is in the Cocoa Bear family. You notice how I didn't say it's in like the brown family. It's totally in the Cocoa Bear family. It's not a dupe or anything like that, but it just reminds me of it. So I was like, yeah, I gotta use that baby. So let me swatch it. That is its swatch right there. It is definitely more orange than Cocoa Bear. And the other color that I wanna use is Come and Get It, okay? Look at that. Oh, it's a duochrome, and I was hooked the first minute I swatched it, or the first time I swatched it. Look at that. It's called Come and Get It. So this one right here is called Cloud Nine, and I'm gonna swatch this one. Now, I'm not gonna swatch all of them close up because I will insert a picture, but I know you guys wanna see how they swatch like live and in color and in person and up close and all that good stuff. So there is cloud nine. Oh my gosh, I just blended the two. Look, I blended the two, hold on. One more again, let's try it right here. Oh, this is hard. Okay, there is cloud nine. The deeper colors are definitely pigmented because you have to really go to work on Myra's feet to get these babies off. You see, like this is a white and I have to really make sure that I get it off, especially the reds and the blues. So I'm gonna swatch a few more just so you guys can get an idea of what they look like up close. And let me tell you this, disclaimer. Whenever you see this, this means I'm rocking a unit, okay? So we're gonna get it all the way right by the end of this video. I'm gonna swatch this color right here. This is like a shimmer color. It's called Save It For Later. And very, very pigmented. Save it for later. So they don't really have a color that's similar to Peach Smoothie. So I've been using this color Paper Tiger right here. Well, playing in it because I haven't really rocked it yet. And so let's show you how that looks. That's probably what I'll use in my brow bone. But it's not very like, it's not super duper pigmented, at least on my skin tone. So that's Paper Tiger. Let's swatch this color Locked and Loaded in case you wanted to use this as a brow bone. And that's what Locked and Loaded looks like right there. 
This one looks a little ashy on my skin tone. So I'm gonna swatch this color right here. This is called Make It Moves. And there's that color right there. That one is pretty pigmented. And I know y'all gonna wanna see these blue ones. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna swatch a couple down here and then that's it. And then we're gonna get this party started. So this one right here is Piece of Cake. And if I didn't mention it, the shadows will be selling for $5 and they will be launching on the 13th. I am really trying to get this video up by the 13th. Pray my strength, okay? But there is backseat. So let go. I am gonna put a base on my eye. I've already muted out the discoloration on my lids. So I am gonna use this LA Girl eyeshadow primer and this is in the color nude. The good news about this palette, you guys, I feel like a teacher. The good news is, no, but the good news about this palette, you guys, is I do believe that I can create a whole look using only this palette. Like I don't have to go into any other shades. So, I mean, I would really love to have like a more peachy color for my brow bone highlight, but these two, I can totally make it work. So I am gonna go into my crease with top notch as I told you guys. This one is really pigmented. I think I'm just gonna deepen up the outer V as well so that we can get usage out of as many as we can. Maybe like five shadows or something. Now I'm gonna take my MAC 239 brush and I'm gonna go into that color, come and get it, okay? Do y'all see that? Look at that. It is so pretty. And I mean, if you wanted it to pop a little bit more, you can always use Fix Plus or Setting Spray or something like that. But I don't usually do that. I just go for what I know. This is not really a tutorial. This is just, you know, testing out shadows for you guys. Because we want to test out the deeper color, we are going to go into Cloud 9 and we're going to just put that right here in this little fold area. Or Outer V. Did I say fold? Did I really just say that? Just take a little bit of it and deepen it up right there. It comes off real good though, right? But I just wanted you guys to see how these blend and everything. So you see, I'm gonna do my wing and then I'm gonna blend them out a little more. Now, when I do looks like this, I have to blend a lot. So I'll probably do all that extra blending off camera because yeah. But you guys get the gist of it, right? Let's just go into Locked and Loaded real quick and see. I I'm a little nervous because it's kind of yellow bright, but I can always tone it down. I don't want it that bright, so I am going to go into Paper Tiger right here, and I'm going to put that o on top of it, over top of it, I guess is what I was going to say. Yeah. So these two mixed together, they're pretty good. I like them more together them by themselves. I think I'm gonna add save it for later in my inner corner. I usually do this after lashes, but I'm gonna do it now. That's pretty. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look of the eyes. And this is the foundation that I'm testing out, so stay tuned for that. But I did take a little bit of those two deeper eyeshadows. I think it was Top Notch and Cloud Nine, and I just put it in my lash line a little bit because I just thought it gave it a little va va boom. All right, so as far as my thoughts on the eyeshadows, I would say that I gravitate more towards these deeper shades right here. These are the ones that I've actually used. I haven't used any of the other ones except for this dual chrome. It's bomb. But y'all know that the true test of these eyeshadows will be using all mattes because I find that sometimes mattes they either blend too much like they kind of get muddy and get into each other or they kind of get too muddy and they blend too well so I want to make sure that I test these out in a matte eyeshadow look before I give you guys like my final thoughts so this is just like my first impression but I will say that some of these lighter colors they tend to pull a little bit ashy on me and if I were to use a brow bone highlight or like I did today I would use these two right here. Like those are the only two I would probably use as a brow bone highlight. But follow me on Snapchat because that's when I test out things and I try things and more than likely I'll probably do a look on there like I do my little snap tutorials and stuff like that. So stay tuned there just in case I can't make a video quick enough on here with the matte shadows. Okay guys, okay guys. So here's the thing. Um, I'm popping in real, real quick. This is totally like spur of the moment. It was unplanned. It is like impromptu, okay? But I figured since I'm doing this whole video on this foundation, I told you guys that I was doing a first impression on a foundation too. I've had the foundation 
foundation on for like six hours now. And since I was doing that, I figured I would give you guys some close-ups of the eyeshadow so you guys can see if it lasted. So I just want to get some close-ups and see like what it's looking like. All right. Like I figured you guys would like that. So here is the eye. Here are the eyes. After almost six hours of wear, I used the LA primer as a base. And underneath that, I also used the, um, the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. But that is it. Those are the shadows. I like the top notch a lot, the one I use as a crease color. Now the Cloud 9, I need to work with that a little bit more to make sure that I really love it because I'm not, I don't know. I don't really know how to explain it, but I'm gonna test that out a little more. And I'm also gonna test out the matte shades and I will let you guys know what I think, but I will probably tell you guys on Snapchat. If you guys really, really want me to do another tutorial or to do a tutorial with some of the matte shades, let me know and I will try my best to do that and like add it in the lineup because I have some good videos planned for you guys. Okay. I have plans for you. That is it for this video. And this is like the second close because I already closed out. But anyway, I love y'all and I'm going to talk to you later. Bye. Confidence is key. You know what I mean? A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb. Seeky beauty makeover. Confidence is key, ladies. You know what I mean? Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we ain't playing games. It's the Seeky beauty. Yeah, Seeky beauty.